um, yeah, so I'm back. I am starting the vlog again. And this is after a dubious long year of not doing it, of always saying I was gonna start up again, but you know, starts off at first like, I'm just gonna take a break to, um, I can't do videos anymore. Where that comes from, a lot of insecurity. I really created the vlog to be before the videos I made was to kind of show like this person who's getting better. Uh, it started off, you know, me when I just got out of a divorce and I wanted to just, you know, prove to myself I could overcome pain and transmute it into something beneficial for me and for the planet. But the way I set up the context for the video was that I, I literally couldn't show myself in the pain. And that, that is only showing part of the story, really, of what I was trying to create. My excellence, my habits were around just doing things when I was, you know, upbeat, positive. Um, and it was really, really easy to make these vlogs at first. It was just something I did, it was easy. I was using easier programs to edit and I wasn't thinking really big. I started thinking really big near the end. When I made it bigger than what it was and it wasn't reflecting that, it didn't seem worth it. You know, if I was editing videos for the last year, dude. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> I'd be so good right now. Um, but now I'm kind of starting over, so that's okay too. When something's that easy at the beginning, it's harder to continue doing it if you're not used to or inspired by the challenge of it being hard to do. You know, in anything worth doing is going to be hard. I don't think I believed that at the time. I don't think I fully understood what I enjoyed in life either. And so now, the vlog is back. And the vlog is back because all I've done is think about videos. If I think back to all the things I have done habitually, like say running, I'm still good at running. I can still run, I'm really good at running. I love running, it's therapeutic, it's, challenging at times but I never stop because of that and um, I have gotten better or s more precise with the way I run things are always improving when I run things I haven't created a habit around either aren't happening anymore or I've been wishing to do them and so I'm ready to get out of that kind of state of mind and I know I need to start creating videos more because that's what's on my heart. Believe me, I, I have wanted to start this vlog back up many times. I did try, as a matter of fact. I just couldn't get past the next step for whatever reason. Um, or maybe that's two, I don't know. But like, maybe it's three. For the ultimate thrill. For excitement and joy and Ah, dang it. And just like this big building full of stuff, it's kind of like me. Mm. Uh, I got nothing, but I'm trying. So you can see there's quite a few concepts in there. That's all stuff I was very interested in doing. And um, yeah, for whatever reason it wasn't good enough or I forgot a part of the message or it just didn't line up the way I was gonna edit it and or I didn't have the right editing software after a while. And then I bought the software and I didn't do anything with it. So yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna do some cool little montages. Do, do all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, I can't make any more soap for you. Uh, we already have a big bucket of it. Handstands, handstands, I mean, I haven't been practicing them 
Maybe I'll show them more uh, when I actually practice them and make it a habit. Mushrooms are everywhere right now, and uh, about a year ago I quit doing vlogs. So maybe I'll do a mushroom montage as a thing as why I'm back. Cool. So that's what I'm going to leave you with. Enjoy this lovely visionary quest of all the wonderful mushrooms that pop up in Rhode Island. Thanks for tuning in, friends and family. I love you. Thanks for the support. And I will continue these. This is the start. Again. I'll be back. Bye.